this video, we'll make our first Coppelia simulation and animation. In this case, we'll basically create a plane. We'll create a sphere. We'll drop the sphere, so it'll roll along the plane. In order to do this, we'll create a primitive shape, plane and sphere. We'll rotate the plane to be in this inclination. Uh, then we need to make what you'll see is the body respondable so that the plane reacts to the sphere. Uh, then we'll run the simulation and then I'll show you how to save this scene and then record the scene so for, for offline viewing. Okay, so first let's add a primitive shape. In this case, let's add a plane. And I'm going to stick with three meters by three meters. And so I'm going to zoom out. Okay, now I want to rotate this so I can get the ball to roll along it. So I will go to rotate. Uh, in this case, I'll just stick to mouse rotation. So I want to rotate this about the world Y axis. So click on Y and then rotate. Now, since this half of this plane is buried inside, we need to translate it up. So let me translate it up. So I press translate and I want to translate it about the Z axis. So I'll unselect everything else, mouse translation. Okay, so now I can see the entire plane. So I'm good. Uh, let's add a sphere. Okay. And you can't quite see it because it's buried inside. So let's move it up. So the best way to do that is to click on sphere. Uh, let's, uh, well, let's actually go and to, to translate and then move it along the Z axis. Uh, but you can't see it. So I'll go to position and then change that to, uh, let's say one meter. And now you can see the sphere. And now what I want to do is maybe change the color. So it's stick stands out. So I click on sphere Let's say I just color and let me change it to the color red. Okay. Okay. Now let's see if we got it position correctly, so I'm going to rotate. And I see it looks okay. Maybe I want to just move it slightly back along the x-axis. So I press translate, mouse translation along y-axis, sorry, x-axis. And then maybe I can move it a little bit up. So let me rotate and see if it looks okay. Looks good. Now, in order to simulate in Coppelia Sim, you only need to do is press the simulate button over here. So I'll press that and you see that it actually penetrated the ground. Okay. Now this is happening because the plane is not programmed to be respondable to the sphere. In other words, I need to tell it that if there's a collision, it needs to be detected and appropriate conditions need to be applied. So in this case, I need to go to plane, click on plane. I say show dynamic properties and I say body is respondable. That just tells it that it's going to respond if something collides into it. Okay, close that. So let me run the simulation and you saw that it went down pretty fast. Now this is simulating at the speed at which the integration is done. If you want to slow it down, what you want to do is you want to basically run this in real time. So click on RT. And with this once pressed, you can run the simulation and now it looks much more realistic. So you can stop the simulation and run it again. Okay, so let's save this a file. So I'm going to say save scene. And in this case, what I did was um, in my documents folder, which is uh, here, I create uh, created a folder called my Coppelia sim project. So I'm going to save it in this folder. I'm going to call it uh, plane and sphere, and then just save it. So now it is saved in that folder. So if you want to start from this scene, you all you do is open Coppelia sim and then go file, open scene, and then link to that particular saved file, and you will be you'll be able to go from there. Now, sometimes I'm also interested in recording this. So what I need to do in that case is press on this icon here for recording. 
Okay, so the two things you want to set, one is you want it to launch at sim simulation start. That is when you press this button. So click on that. And then you also want to choose where you want to record it. So in this case, I chose the folder, which I was uh, used to save my scene files. So save that. Okay, uh, the last thing which you can do if you want is you can choose whichever output format you want. So I like MP4, so I chose MP4. And then you can close this. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, run this. And once it's the ball exited, I'm gonna stop. And then Copilla Sim will tell you that the file was saved in this particular folder, which I indicated this name and an MP4 file. Okay, so now we can go back to that file. It's in documents, my Copilla Sim and just open this recording. It's an MP4 recording so let's open this and play it. Okay. 